everyone, it's Lara. So today I'm going to do a get ready with me using Wet n Wild products. So I'm going to start off with using this primer. So this is the Cucumber Primer. And this... I've used this a few times before and I do like the feeling of it, but it has a very strong scent. And I was looking at the ingredients on the back and the perfume like what usually when there's perfume in something it's like the last thing but for this it's like smack dab in the middle so I feel like that's a lot of perfume <laughs> so probably wouldn't buy this again I mean it smells nice I just don't really like putting things on my skin that are super heavily super heavily fragranced because usually they irritate my skin. So far this has not irritated my skin, but yeah. Next I'm going to use this concealer. This is the Megalast Incognito Concealer in the shade Fair. So it looks a little light going on, but th I feel like this time of year, this is a pretty good match for me. And I don't have an eye primer, so I'm just going to use the concealer as an eye primer. One moment. My bangs are really getting in my way. <laughs> so how has everyone been? Um, there hasn't been really much going on with me. I mean, just same old working, going to school trying to get my master's degree and my teacher's license. Starting to feel a bit burnt out because the program I'm doing, there's no break, like at all, until graduation, which is the end of next year. Like no summer break, no winter break, nothing. I'm hoping once summer vacation starts for my work, I'll feel a bit better, not so burnt out, but we'll see. Next, I'm going to use this Tinted Hydrator. This is in the shade Fair. I actually really like this. This is really nice. So if you don't know, I'm a substitute teacher. I work at a preschool and an elementary school. And in the elementary school, I've mostly been subbing for the gym teacher. <laughs> Yeah, being a gym teacher is tough. It's just like elementary school kids, like they don't, they're just not nice to each other. <laughs> they argue a lot. They randomly burst out crying for random reasons. I feel more like a, an emotional coach than like, a sport coach when I'm in the gym teacher. <laughs> Gotta manage everybody's emotions. And like they don't play fair either. I don't know. I'm doing my best. I also help out in kindergarten a lot, which I really like. I definitely leaning towards kindergarten. I also love the preschool I work at too, so I'm kind of leaning towards one of those two. I feel like it's probably going to be kindergarten, maybe preschool. I mean, obviously, whatever is available when I graduate, but I like that age range. For powder, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder. Oh, one thing that I did recently is my family and I, we did an escape room for the first time. And that was so much fun. I highly, highly recommend if you're looking for something to do as a family, do an escape room. Because for us, uh, we went to Escapeology and we did the Scooby-Doo one. And we brought my nephew. And my nephew's only seven. And I think the level for the Scooby-Doo one was like seven out of ten. So we were weren't really sure if he was going to be able to do it or if he was just going to be bored the whole time. 
but no he actually got a lot of the clues and the stuff like he was actually helping and he wasn't bored like there was tons of, like, there was one prop that was like a sword to a knight and he got a kick out of that and was running around with that for a while but no he he got a lot of the clues so I definitely recommend that one that one was so fun and like I feel like we're kind of addicted now so we already signed up to do another one so next month uh, my brother my younger brother my sister and I we're gonna do the Budapest Express one and then we're thinking maybe end of summer we'll do the murder mansion one and maybe my mom will participate in that one too because she really liked it too but she said she needs a little bit of a break Unfortunately, we weren't able to solve the whole thing. Like we got to the last, the exact last clue and we just, we couldn't get it put in in time before the timer ran out, so. But even so, so much fun. For blush, I'm going to use this baked blush in Hummingbird Hype. I'm kind of obsessed with these blushes. I don't know, just something about a baked blush I really like. So I don't have an eyebrow product from Wet Wild, so I'm just going to use my Anastasia. Oh my goodness, my fingers hurt so bad. I made a stupid mistake this morning when I was curling my hair. I went to go grab the curling iron and I wasn't really paying attention and I accidentally grabbed the wrong end. I mean, I'm so thankful I didn't have it set to the highest setting, but it was still pretty hot when I grabbed it now. I mean, I don't think it's that bad, like these three fingers, but it hurts. <laughs> I'm hoping like it'll be fine for tomorrow. <laughs> And I'm going to use the Cucumber Setting Spray. I've used the setting spray a few times and I think it's fine. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette called Cosmic Collision. This is in one of my projects. Actually, I think this is in two projects. Um, I have yet to use it though. So today will be my first time. But before I dive into that, I'm actually going to use some of my powder to kind of like set up like below my brow bone area. What else? Um, the weather's been kind of funky here. Like it's been really sunny. And like the temperature has itself hasn't been that bad like maybe 60s but it has been so windy and the wind has been very cold like it feels like icy wind so it's kind of miserable and it's been like that for like two weeks now I don't really feel like it's been like that here in the spring usually around this time like it gets like nice, like nice spring, warm, light jacket weather, but I don't know. So I'm going to start off with this shade up here that's labeled transition. And yeah, I'm going to put that in my transition, why not? Next, I'm going to take this shade down here that's also labeled transition and I'm gonna put that kind of like on the outer corner and a little bit in my crease so does anyone have any fun plans for the summer are you guys going anywhere um, we don't really have plans to like travel but we do have a camping trip planned uh, my dad has one of those like trailers that attach to the back of the his pickup truck. It'll be my first time for that because um, I think when he bought it, he bought it when I was living in Japan, so I haven't 
had a chance to experience that yet. So that should be really fun. And then, like I said, we're going to do the escape, try and do more escape rooms. Oh, the new Downton Abbey movie. That's on my to-do list. I love Downton Abbey and I want to see the new movie. Um, so I'm going to use this shade kind of like on my lid, but more towards like the middle and outer portion. Have any of the Downton Abbey fans watched The Gilded Age? What do you think of it? I feel like I always have this same thing like with American timepieces. Like I just don't find them as interesting as like British ones. I mean, I did watch the first season, like all the episodes that had come out, and I liked it. I was interested enough to keep watching it, and I'll watch the second season when it comes out, whenever that is, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I really wish they would do a prequel to Downton Abbey. That's what I want. Like, I want to see Granny when she was younger. I feel like that would be so interesting, because, you know, she has, like, such an interesting past. I really wish they, um, they would do that. And then I'm going to take this gold shade and kind of put that on the inner portion. Okay, for eyeliner, I'm going to use this pencil liner. This is the Breakup Proof Waterproof Retractable Gel Liner. This is in a shade black. This eyeliner is actually pretty decent. It doesn't really smudge that much, which I'm very happy about. And then I'm going to use this Laura Geller pencil in my waterline. This is just kind of a nude shade. A little bit of this top transition shade and smudge that on the lower lash line. And I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Mega Protein Mascara. This mascara is okay. It's just kind of one of those ones that pretty much just tints your lashes. It's not horrible, but I wouldn't buy this again. And lipstick, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild. Um, I don't know what this is called. Perfect Pout Lipstick in Barrier Soul. I have never used this, so I don't really know what I think of it, but it's just kind of like caramely nude shade. Okay, this smells bad. It kind of smells like Play-Doh or something. I don't know. I mean, I only got this maybe like a month or two ago, so this is not old. Whatever. It feels really thin on the lips. And, you know, shade looks nice. Anyway, that's everything. I'll see you next time. Bye.